Hey guys, I'm Ezra with Team OTB and in this video I'm going to talk about grip. I'm going to kind of show you guys the grips that I use, maybe some grips I don't use but other people do use um, and hopefully give you guys a good idea as to what I do. Um, I'll start off with my putting grip and this is actually the same grip, I just use a fan grip so I'll try to kind of show you, hopefully this is, you can kind of see through. So I put it right there, I make a line between this, this right here and this uh, gap in my finger, I'll stick the disc in that then wrap my fingers around. Um, I have my thumb, I don't know, like an inch away from the edge maybe. And then uh, I've got my pinky on the rim. These two fingers out a little bit. And then like the crease of this knuckle on the rim of the disc. <clears throat> now this is a pretty common fan grip I feel like. Um, I think for putting a lot of people just do this where they don't have the pinky on there. Um, but I like it because I feel like it, it brings more consistency to the, to the putt. Um, and then these fingers can kind of do what they want. I know some people just do this. Um, I like them spread out a little bit, but that's my fan grip, and I use this for I use this for any kind any putt, step putt, jump putt, anything, and then also if I'm throwing a mid range or a putt or any distance, um, I always use this fan grip. Um, and then for my power grip, when I throw a fairway driver or a high speed like distance driver, then I will use I use a uh, just a, a, a normal like textbook power grip. Basically, draw that same line between this crease in your palm and that. Stick the disc in there, wrap everything around this time. You want the thumb, kind of the same, an inch and a half maybe away from the, uh, the rim. Some people play with this a little bit more. You definitely don't want it all the way out here, though, because then it'll just fall out. But just on the inside of this um, like line right here is pretty much good. And then I just have my four fingers on the rim like that. So kind of tucked in like that. You don't want it to be like this. Um, you kind of just want them all like that. I know some people do like a three finger well it's like that and that's totally fine too. And I know a lot of people actually do like a modified kind of power fan grip where it's like a combination of those last two. And they kind of do something like this where it's just kind of smushed in there. And that works too, but I just like to do the, the traditional four finger. Um, gives me the consistency that I like and the power I like. Um, as far as like, you know, like grip pressure and how hard I feel like I'm squeezing it, I feel like I'm not squeezing it that hard. Um, you kind of just want it to be a, like a happy medium between really tight and like really loose. If it's too loose and you try to pull through, it'll fall out. If it's too tight, you might grip lock it. I think it's kind of hard to grip it too tight because if you have you know proper technique, I feel like your hand will be moving too fast to where the disc has no choice but to leave. Um, that's you can get that snapping sound. Your hand snaps together after the disc leaves it. Um, so you, you kind of want you know that feeling of like holding a live ball in your hand. If you know the reference to that movie, let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, just like a nice, a nice, you know, a nice moderate grip, I feel like. Um, maybe more loose as you're reaching back, just to kind of keep your whole body loose. You want to be like a, kind of like a whip, kind of like a noodle, honestly, not a noodle arm, but kind of just loose and uh, and like free with your, with your movement. And then as you pull through, obviously, you have to make sure you're holding onto the disc. So you do have to have some pressure. Um, and just kind of, I feel like even pressure throughout, you don't want to just be like pushing way down with your thumb or like way up with your fingers or like just into your uh, palm. I think you want this nice, even, consistent pressure throughout. Um, but that is it for backhand. I don't think anybody else does anything else. Uh, for forehands, I do the same grip from throwing a zone or an FD3 or anything. Um, I make a gun with my fingers, stick it in there, and I, I want I want the, the, the rim wedged in the, the fat of my palm right there. And I want, like, if I made, if I made, if I made a central line on my fi the middle of my finger, I want that to hit this crease where the flight plate meets the rim. So right in there like that, just slightly angled, not all the way like this, and definitely not flat like that. So just rotate it like 45 degrees, nice and tight in the flat, fat of the palm. My thumb is right there, just on the inside of this rim again. And then these two fingers, I have the rim touching about where this knuckle is. So, and that's the same for any disc that I use. Um, you really want, I guess, I guess that's kind of it. Um, I know a lot of people will do like a, a, like a real power grip thing like this, where they put their fingers like that, which if that works for you, great. It's never worked for me. Um, I know some people will do something like this. I think Nate Sexton does this, where he like, he does it like backwards, um, and that works too. I know a lot of people will do like a, a fan grip for like short off shots with like puddles and things like that, where they kind of fan their fingers out and that works too. Um, I keep it simple. I just use the two finger like gun grip for every forehand and it's kind of the same thing just a nice consistent pressure nothing too nothing too drastic 
Um, just something that you can hold onto the disc and have confidence that you'll get a nice clean release out of. Um, and then let's see. I don't throw thermals, I don't throw tomahawks, I'm not even gonna talk about that. I do throw grenades, so for my grenade grip, um, I like to I like to stick it right in here, like kind of like a usual backhand, upside down, obviously. And then instead of wrapping everything around, I actually wrap this this finger onto the rim like that, so that the pad of this finger touches the inside of that rim. I lock it in with my thumb. I have these fingers like this, and uh, that is how I do my grenades. And yeah, I know a lot of people, you know, throw grenades, they'll just stick the, the, the thumb in like that and wrap the fingers around like that. And that works too. For me personally, this is how I used to do it. It rips my thumb apart in like two shots and I can't throw anymore. Changing to this way, um, I can throw like 50 shots without having any trouble, so. Yeah, that's basically my grips. Um, hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, thanks for watching. If you wanna like and subscribe, that'd be sick. Also, go to otbdiscs.com, use code Ezra for free shipping at checkout. And yeah, thanks again. I will see you in the next video.